up everyone currently on my way for a late gym session it's not too late 7 30 p.m but kind of late for me i usually don't go around 7 to 8 p.m i usually go around like one or two that's like my sweet spot for going to the gym but life came up and had a lot of stuff to do so have to hit late session no problem though as you can see i have an umbrella because it was pouring rain but all of a sudden it stopped and it's fine outside the weather's just so bipolar over here in Virginia, it's crazy. Where do you guys live, by the way? I'm curious. I wanna see where like some of my viewers live at. So, I don't know, different countries, states? Let me know, Com uh, comment down the, what the, comment down in the comment section down below. Wow, I didn't say that right at all. <laughs> wow, I can't even speak right now. It's been a long day. Anyways, I gotta hit the gym right now. I'll catch you guys later. What up guys, taking you through a little bit of my poll day, also doing a video voiceover just to change it up a little bit. I always do an audio voiceover and this way, you know, we could be a little bit more interactive, you know what I mean? But anyways, let me take you through a little bit of my poll day. I started off with some barbell rows, real happy with barbell rows, they feel so great. I used to love doing pedlay rows before like uh, I had that setback for six weeks, but now I love doing barbell rows. I just get more of a contraction. I feel it's like more of a bodybuilding exercise rather than pedlay row where it's more like strength based. You know what I mean? And at the end of the day, I'm more about bodybuilding and I just love the feeling you get with barbell row. But I was doing 170 pounds and my main goal was try to get six to eight reps and I was hitting around like eight or nine. So I'm happy with that. If you like look back two, three weeks ago, I was doing like 155 with that just cause of my, uh, you know, setback. But anyway, after that, moved on to some pull-ups. Now, I really like doing weighted pull-ups. However, I need to get back in the swing of pull-ups. I don't know why, I'm so weak with them now, but right now I was doing anywhere, my goal is like six to 10 with weighted pull-ups, but I was doing anywhere from eight to 12 with this. That was like my third set you saw. I did four sets of that, four sets of the barbell row, by the way, as well but that was around like nine reps. And what I've noticed is I really like keeping my elbows out. You know, it gets more of a contraction in your back and you don't always have to go so overextended upwards. I've just noticed um, I get more of a contraction, just elbows out and kind of stopping a little more than like elbows parallel, you know, not all the way up. So really trying to get my form down. And then once I get around like 12 to 15 reps, I will start adding weight after that. Did a T-ball rows. I freaking love T-ball rows for like strength days just because you can load up the bar and I love that machine in my gym. It is awesome. You don't have to like find a corner and put a bar and do T-ball rows and look like an idiot. It's just already set up for you and has the perfect grip and it just feels great. And what I had was two and a half plates was doing uh, as usual six to ten reps just because it's a strength day and um, I did four sets of that as well. After that moved on to what was this called machine row so sometimes I'll switch it up and do single hand this kind of mimics um, a dumbbell row so I really like doing this I wanted a horizontal pulling movement so that's exactly what I did I did um, three or four sets of that for eight to ten so really really love that always gonna incorporate that in my strength day and then after that I really wanted to Oh wait, before I go into this, make sure by the way, you're really controlling that. I had a plate and a half, but I started with two plates and it was a bit too heavy. I was doing seven to eight reps, they're a little sloppy, so I switched it up and put down the weight. That was like my third set, so really controlling it, negative, kind of slow, and then get that contraction on the way back up. Anyways, after that, I want to do rack pulls. I usually don't do what you just saw me do with the, with the pulling down rowing movement but I couldn't do rack pulls because, man, I have, I didn't actually tell you guys about this in the beginning of the video, I should have mentioned it. I had this like knot in my back for the past two, three days. I like slept on it wrong, I think two days ago. And I woke up, man, it's ridiculous. It's like all my exercises this week have been affected by it because I think it's a pinched nerve or a knot. I've been doing a lot of research. I think it's like a big knot, maybe a pinched nerve, but either way, everyone says it's gonna go away within like a week, so I'm happy about that. It's been the third day right now, already feeling a lot better. Hopefully by like day five, it's gonna feel 100%, but oh my God, it, it just hurts so much, it's weird. But that was bothering my workout big time. Even 
the day before it was like worse. I'm doing a pull day right now. You'd think it would, it would, this would be the worst for my back, but no, just because the pain was way worse before, but just not in the back. Anyways, that was my back movements for the workout. Moved on to some biceps, some curls for the girls. Did some barbell curls. Now I like doing six to eight reps when it comes to strength days with bar with barbell curls. Um, I use a straight bar, really love it. I keep a neutral grip, shoulder width, and make sure my form is real good. Try not to swing as much as possible. I use 80. I started off with 80 pounds, six to eight reps, then uh, ended up with 70 pounds for my last two, three or two sets. Did four sets by the way. After that, did some rope hammer curls. Love rope hammer curls. Again for strength days, just because it's like. Um, a continued resistance, you know what I mean? Versus just dumbbell hammer curls. Don't get me wrong, I love dumbbell hammer curls. I always do it in my hypertrophy pull days, but I love doing that. You can add a lot of weight and it just keeps tension on your biceps. And you always gotta do a hammer curling movement. Don't just neglect the hammer curling movements, guys. Trust me, you need them in your, in your uh, workout. After that, did some shrugs. Oh, I did actually preacher curls too for three sets with um, the easy bar, but I couldn't show you guys that because uh, it was just too hard to get on camera. Anyways, after that, did shrugs, finish it off with sh with some rear shoulders, and that's gonna wrap it up, did four sets of this. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Stick around for the next Raw Clips. Subscribe to my channel, like the video if you enjoyed. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed this commentary. Just a few tips when it comes to doing cardio, guys. If you wanna make it go live really, really fast, put like something over the cardio machine where you don't see the time, and then just go ham, and then also watch YouTube videos. You gotta watch YouTube videos, or Netflix or something. It goes by so fast. Actually, half the time, you end up doing a little more than you mean to do, because it's like, you're like, oh crap, it's done already. And, that's it, folks. 400 calories. 35 minutes, not too bad. Freaking love this machine, guys. I think there's like an elliptical kind of different variation of it, but in my opinion, it burns the most calories. Or I don't know, from experience, it's burned calories faster than any other machine. That's what's up. See you guys in the next clip. What up, everyone? Just got back from the gym. As you guys saw, I did a strength pull day and ended it off with a 400 calorie cardio session. So, that workout was all right, as I was saying, or as I'm probably gonna end up telling you guys about it, in the voiceover, it was real rough because uh, when I slept on my background like two days ago or something, I woke up and my lifts have kind of been affected by this. I don't know if it's like a pinched nerve or I think it's a knot in my back. I've been doing a lot of research online. A lot of people are saying it's a knot in the back, but God damn it, it's like killing me. I couldn't do rack pulls and it's just so uncomfortable, but apparently it goes away real quick. Within a few more days, it'll be back to normal. But yeah, <laughs> gonna make pay attention to the positions I'm sleeping in because I was probably sleeping out like some kind of weird way like this or something. I always end up doing that. I have no idea why, but whenever I'm like so tired, I'll pass out in the most weirdest positions and just end up all achy the next morning. So gonna pay attention to that. Anyways, it's like 10.30 right now, gotta get my meal in. I have like a thousand calories to eat, so guess what I'm about to eat. Just guess. Pause the video, leave a comment down below what you think I'm about to eat, and you get $100 sent to your PayPal if you get it right. Just kidding, you don't get anything. That would be the easiest $100 you could ever bet on, because you already know, got that pro meal on deck. Peanut butter, chocolate nut, oatmeal, <laughs> three servings of it. But I do have a sandwich right here that I'm about to eat. So, you guys would actually, none of you probably would have won that hundred bucks because you, I'm sure none of you would have guessed a sandwich. I know, you guys might think I'm absolutely insane. I seriously have oatmeal every day, but I, I swear, I was gonna get some dining hall food, but everything's like closed right now. So I'm kind of forced to eat this, but I don't mind. You know me, I'm a simple guy, I love oatmeal. Gonna go ahead and eat this up and get some more, well, start editing this video, get a little bit more stuff done, and then go to bed, because I got that 8 a.m. class the next day. But the weekend's coming up, so I can catch up on some sleep. But I did want to 
touch on the topic a bit before I end the video. Let me go ahead and put the camera down. So, the whole point of, you know, I, I did have a lot of stuff to do today. Went in to get a late night session at the gym, which I really don't like doing. Because it also keeps me up at night. I just have some problems sleeping. I'm probably going to be up to like 2 in the morning. But what can you do? you got to get things done, guys. And that's kind of what I want to touch on. Do you really think I wanted to do a 400 calorie session after an hour and a half of lifting? No, hell no. Not at all. I wanted to get the hell out of there. I wanted to get this video edited. And I want to go to bed. But you know what? That's not the point, man. You gotta, when you have a goal in mind, guys, you gotta set that goal. You gotta envision it. It's all about the vision. It's goals are short-term things, but you gotta have a vision. When you put that vision in mind, you know, you tackle your goal. Get that goal. Get it done. Next, after you kill that goal, kill the next one. It's all about how bad you want it. Every day, wake up, envision that goal in your head. Say, I want that, whatever it is, I want to lose 15 pounds, 20 pounds, I want to gain 15 pounds, 20 pounds, I want to, you know, increase my strength at the gym, I want to hit the gym, do this cardio session, whatever it may be, just envision it, think about it during the day, dream about it, you know, when you're eating, think about it, <laughs> everything, man, just envision it, and it's all up to you to get it done. You can always say, I'm going to leave it till tomorrow. You know what? I'll just make up for it the next day or this day. But you know what? No one's watching. No one cares. No one gives a shit about what's going on in your life except you. So it's really all about how much you want to accomplish that goal and you want to get to that vision of yours. Anyways, that's just a few words of wisdom. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Seal Suede from Suede Strong Fitness signing out. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to give it a like. Comment down below any thoughts at all. And please subscribe to my channel. Three videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Thank you very much for watching. As always, stay strong.